Hey guys, welcome back. I have um, just a makeup tutorial for you today. It's not celebrity inspired. It's kind of a face of the day, I guess, and I decided to turn it into a tutorial. So this is just a, um, it's real simple, you know, nothing really difficult to do, but it's just what I wanted to wear today and I thought I would share it with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing it, keep watching. Okay guys, so I already started with using a little bit of my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, because it's going to be really warm outside today and you know it'll be nice to have a little extra something on my eyelid to help any um, creasing from happening. What I'm going to use now is my Ulta Eye Crayon in Fairy Tale and I'm going to use that as my base. What I'm going to use now is a little bit of my loose eye dust from Napoleon Perdi in Starlight on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to press that right over the base. Okay, what I'm going to use now is another pigment. This one's from NYX, and the color is Walnut Pearl. And I am going to use that same flat eyeshadow brush. With pigments, you just want to kind of press the brush into the pigment. And then I'm going to place that right out in this outer corner. Big fluffy brush and blend. And we're just keeping this darker color on the um, eyelid. We're not going to take it up too much. When we place the next color, we'll kind of incorporate this dark color up a little further, but not too much. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this color here. It's called Ho. It's from MAC. It's H-A-U-X. It's I don't really like saying the name of it but that's what it's called flat eyeshadow brush and what I'm going to do is run that right up here on the brow bone and just use what they refer to as window wiper movements and just run it into that brown I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend I'm going to go ahead and use my 222 brush and tissue weight and just right on the inner corner. Then I'm going to go ahead and use Blanc Type right under the eyebrow. Okay, what you want to do now is take that fairy tale eye crayon and we're just going to run it along the lower lash line from corner to corner. And then we're going to take some more of that original pigment, the Napoleon Eye Dust. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Accent Brush. And I'm going to push that right into the lash line. I'm going to use that same accent brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of that Walnut Pearl pigment that I used earlier. And this is just going to go in the very outer corner right here just about that much and then pull up okay now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and I'm going to use my new Ulta waterproof mascara it's called Amped Lashes and this is in black brown so I don't think it really matters if you want to use brown or black for this whatever you prefer so that completes our look I'm not going to line my waterline today I'm just going to kind of keep it um, clean today um, it's going to be really warm and even sometimes when I use a waterproof liner on my waterline in the summer it still ends up down here which is really annoying so I'm going to kind of skip that today on my face I used I bought a new elf tinted moisturizer this one is called beige and this one actually suits my skin tone a lot better than the nude so I have this on I used my hula bronzer um, on my cheeks I used and I'm going to talk to you guys about this in a separate video, but I got this NYC Cream Stick Blush in, um, what is this called? Berry New Yorker. And I used that. And then after I powdered, I used this new Milani blush that I got. It's called Red Vino. And I just put that over. Um, what else did I use? Oh, on my lips, I have... 
My allergies are really bad today. I think it's allergies because I don't feel sick, but my nose will just start running all by itself and I'm all stuffed up. Um, I used my new Napoleon Perdue lip liner in Miami and then over that I used my Essence lip liner from their new little Blossom Etc. collection and this is called, or not lip liner, lip gloss, I can't believe I just said that. This is called Naive. And I just put that on over this. I filled in a little bit with this and then put that over. And that's it. So I hope you guys like this. I've been having a lot of problems filming lately and with my editing. And my computer went down for a little bit. So I actually made two videos yesterday and I had to scrap both of them because I'm having issues with my Flip It. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I hope you like that. If you have any requests for anything, please let me know what you would like to see. And then I will see you soon. Bye.